Is it jolt related? That's the thing, right? Can I not pick it up? Ooh, ooh, um, bug? Potential bug? All right, area doesn't connect anymore. Pick up collision shape, detects layer four, weapons, world, weapon, blaster, is on layer four. Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? Interesting. Uh, four slot, in weapon, body type weapon. I don't understand my code. Uh, let's just put a breakpoint here. I don't think it's detecting it at all. Okay, it detected the ammo, I think. Yeah, it detected ammo. If it detects ammo, it doesn't detect anything else. It doesn't detect the weapons here. But if I come up here, we'll get a breakpoint. Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder why it doesn't even get to this section of code. Which means the the pickup detection never even detected it. How are they set up differently? Click on one of these. Collision. It doesn't mask layer four. I wonder if that's a factor. No. Okay. We'll work this out. Bugs, game breaking bugs. They, they said there were gonna be bugs. We go back to this, pick up detection. Masks layer four, monitoring monitorable. Why wouldn't it detect the weapon? Like what is it about the weapon that it doesn't like? Compared to the ammo, for example. They're both rigid bodies, right? Cause that's, that's how they work. They both have the same layer set up. You know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't really make sense. Like. They're the same thing. It's like, technically they're the same thing. It's just these ones, they're tagged as ammo. So you don't actually get the weapon when you walk over it. That's literally the only difference. They behave exactly the same otherwise. Can sleep, solver, custom integrated, continuous CD. Freeze mode, static. They're not even, fr these are frozen. These are not. So is it a frozen thing? Uh, yep, that was it. Okay. Um, okay. That's annoying because that's what I'm using to sort of hold these up. All right. Weird that you can't unfreeze, can't freeze them and detect them at the same time. Yeah, that's odd. I feel like that's not right. Okay. So freeze mode is set to static. Why would it not? Is this just jolt? Is it jolt related? That's the thing, right? Freeze mode static. The freeze mode can be used to set the body's behavior when freeze is enabled. For a body that is always frozen, use static body 3D. Of course, yes. Uh, D, the body, okay. So static body freeze mode default. The body is not affected by gravity and forces. It can only be moved by user code and does not collide with other bodies along its path. Does not collide with other bodies. But you can still detect a static body. I guess it's not realistic for a gun to be frozen in the air. Yeah, I was, you know, like um, in some games, because you would do this, right? Like if you have like a panel of weapons that you can pick up like this, um, they're never going to be held up by like pins, like actual pins physically, because like the way that like these collision shapes look, they're not like at all. Like, I mean, if I was going to redo these, I'd just make them squares, right? So like... I, th I feel like freezing is the way to go if you're setting up like a weapon panel that people can just select weapons from like this. But um, maybe that needs to change now. Maybe I'm going to have to like physically pin them. What if I change it to kinematic? Does it change things? Just asking for a friend. No. Okay, so frozen is it. What if I turned on continuous CD? Or contact monitor it emit signals when it collides with other bodies you know it's it's not really for this but i'm just tinkering to see what happens no, not that you would expect it to okay so what about sleeping well it's still affected by physics so it'll get detected all right is it jolt is it jolt related i'd say yes default because it worked fine before this we're bug hunting boys okay hang on a second let's just reset that to be 
frozen. Okay, this is just like in within the update. I wonder what changed there. Am I gonna have to submit a bug report? I don't wanna do that. Okay, no, it still worked. It's jot related. Uh, project settings. Jolt physics, save and restart. Um, okay, just, just in a sanity test. Still doesn't work. Um, sorry, sometimes I like to test that. Sometimes you just need to restart the engine. And that's all it is. Uh, okay, so Jolt. Ugh, I don't like that error. That's that's actually irking me because like, what do you do to fix that? You just you just hold them up. You place them on the ground instead. Something like that. Like I guess. And just like who cares? Update the asset pack. Okay, so here's the other question about like the new physics because now I'm looking at the docs. Am I reading the? I would say this is default physics docs, right? Like the behavior is different. If true, the body is frozen. Gravity and forces are not applied. See freeze mode, static body. So in Jolt, does Area 3D not detect static body? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, not a big deal. I think I'll just put them on the ground. I, I Like I've, I've given it some thought in this like five seconds and I decided it's not worth my time. I'll put them on the ground. Or maybe I will lean them on a little platform. We can make that. Right, so like instead of having them float here, like they do now, maybe we can create another box. Uh, these are the CSG boxes, right? This is way easier than actually doing real work. I ain't working that shit out, that's too hard. Ain't nobody got time for that. Just slide that in there. Bring it up a little bit. This guy's inside it now. And I should like put on a list of things to just make these square because they're not I'm pretty sure this one is This guy here is like just a square, which is how they should be like there's no need for them to have this complicated collision shape It just doesn't make any sense Just like do that and then put the material on it Problem solved Who cares? No one's even gonna notice and it can become someone else's issue Make it green. Let's just make it green for fun. UV one, two. Yep, makes sense. And then we just run. Oh, we have to unfreeze all of these. Okay. And now we can pick them up again. And they sit on this little ridge. And we can now fire to our heart's content. Hey, we did it. Lock their position through code. Lexus. Don't make me do real work. <laughs> uh, okay. How would you lock? Cause this is physics. If I was going to lock their position, I would use the uh, the freeze flag. Thing is, like, if it's physics, like, the only way to really you're not supposed to lock their position. If you know what I mean, like, you can't really. There, at least last time I read the documentation, if you wanted to manipulate the. Um, Weapons, say for example, you would need to turn them kinematic. Uh, so I don't know how you do that. There's a way to do it in physics. Solver. I thought you maybe set the position to Y1 or something like that. Yeah, I don't, you're not supposed to as far as I know with the reading it. Maybe even spin them a bit. That'd be pretty funny actually. Maybe if they, if they weren't like rigid body. You'd have to make them static or animated body 3D or something like that. Angular, we could just give it a force, make it spin. Constant force. We could also make it have no gravity. That's the other option, right? So we could say that they don't have gravity, then they wouldn't actually fall. Um, the thing is, I would have to write custom code for that, and I don't really want to, because then... So what you would do for like these is you could have like a flag here, you're under something actually, Lexus. Here we go. So you could have like an export var um, display weapon. And then it would be a bull. Uh, it would be equal to uh, false by default, I guess. And then um, you could say 
uh, I guess in the ready function, um, uh, if uh, display weapon, then gravity scale equals zero. I will just leave it at that for now. So we do that, right? Uh, let's just hide this for now. So right now they're all false, so they should just fall. They do. One of them falls over. Great. Exactly what we don't want to happen. So now we have a display weapon. So we tick all these and make them display weapons. Okay. And they're stuck there and I should be able to detect them. And I can. So I guess the question is, how do they behave now? They pretty much are exactly how you want them to. I'm pretty sure the, the player can't actually influence them. So that's fine. They might still float around. I don't know. And I would say like, even now, if you drop it, it would be fine because like these are fresh ones. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got to keep that. There's a bug. I'm missing a weapon now. <laughs> I'll have to address that at some point. There's probably this, 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 this needs a little bit of love. Okay, cool. That's, well, that fixes things. That was relatively simple. Thanks, thanks for the clue. You got me on the right path. It, I was so funny, my reaction. Do it by code. Absolutely not. It's not even that hard, eh? Just make it gravity scale zero. That's the same as frozen. 